With all of your favorite action stars joining forces, the fourth installment of the Expendables franchise has been one of the most expected movies in the past few years. And finally, we have a release date. If you adore action movies, The Expendables 4 has likely been on your radar for close to 8 years. For this Sylvester Stallone and Jason Statham franchise, 8 years can seem like an eternity. But it appears that we're getting much closer to seeing number 4 hit the big screen. The Expendables 3 put on a show, provided the audience with a spectacle to enjoy crack jokes, and made everyone happy as they left the theater. For a group of experts like this, it was a simple task, but at least it was finished quickly. The script, which is credited to three writers, opens with a reckless mission involving a helicopter, a speeding locomotive, and the first of many outsourced VFX explosions. Under the command of Sylvester Stallone's Barney Ross, the main group of mercenaries from the first two movies has returned. While they expect a job stopping a mysterious arms dealer for the CIA, they quickly learn that their adversary is none other than the man who co-founded The Expendables with Barney. They get their asses kicked, one of them comes dangerously close to being killed once again, and Barney decides to replace a seasoned team with some young fresh fighters in order to save the world from a manical madman. You can pretty much guess where the rest of this is going once both the new and experienced crew members start to function as a cohesive unit. The crew has completed many of the shoot's components for Expendables 4 and the film is currently in production. Sylvester Stallone's involvement in the franchise will come to an end with this film, as we all know. This is the man who envisioned this story and brought it to life, seemingly uniting the entire action universe and combining it into one big explosive franchise all at once. Probably making a bomb. Since the theatrical release of The Expendables 3 is 2014, The Expendables 4 has actually been in some stage of development. But by 2017, Sylvester Stallone and Lionsgate had come to a creative deadlock and he left the movie, taking a number of his friends and co-stars with him. Thankfully, Stallone made a comeback in 2018, but progress has been slow ever since, with several stops and starts. Randy Couture, a cast member, revealed in April 2021 that The Expendables 4 is still in the works with tentative plans to begin filming in the fall of 2021 and a new draft of the script is being written. Filming was completed in mid-October 2021, proving that the original plan was correct. With production now complete, its arrival in theaters shouldn't be too far away in the grand scheme of things. It makes sense that a 2022 release is feasible because post-production will undoubtedly be finished by then, as producers previously hinted in 2020, but the release, which was originally slated for 2022, will now take place on September 22, 2023, rather than 2022 as originally planned. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. The Expendable series has consistently paid homage to the icon action films of the 1980s and 1990s and has always starred an ensemble cast. The fourth installment will not be any different. In the fourth installment of The Expendables, Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren, and Randy Couture are expected to reprise their respective leading mercenary roles from the previous three films. Along with the returning cast members, some new but well-known faces will be appearing in the film such as rapper, actor Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, the legendary Thai martial artist Tony Ja, Megan Fox as the female lead, and the newest addition Andy Garcia, Eddie Hall, Sheila Shaw, Jacob Scipio, and Levi Tran. In addition to the aforementioned characters, Aiko Wiss will play the main antagonist. The antagonist in question is a former soldier who turned to deal in weapons and now commands a very private army. It goes without saying that he will be up against our Expendables heroes. Although the other cast members' roles have not been yet revealed, we can only hope that soon we'll learn more about the characters. The Expendables had a modest $80 million budget when it first began production, despite featuring some big-name actors. The budgets for the following two movies each came in at around $100 million, which is reasonable given that some of the key players were returning, everyone was striving for promotions, and the stakes had been raised somewhat. However, it appears that The Expendables 4 will completely top it. All of this information was gathered from an interview with Dolph Lundgren, who claimed that Sylvester Stallone and the studio intended to double the spending on this fourth movie. The Expendables 4 is expected to gross $200 million before all is said and done, so math wizardry is not considered necessary. When Stallone's Ross and his Tyler a group of mercenaries defeated Mel Gibson's arms-dealing bad guy Conrad Stonebanks in Expendables 3, it didn't seem to be setting up a direct continuation of the previous film's plot. 
Although it had been confirmed that Statham's Lee Christmas will play the main role this time around and that Stallone will make his final appearance as Barney Ross, the story details for The Expendables 4 are being kept tightly under wraps for the time being. We'll have to wait and see if Ross will survive or ride off into the distance triumphant. With a nod to the iconic 1980s action that forms the core of The Expendables charm, Sylvester Stallone's character's death in The Blaze of Glory seems to be a perfect fit for the series. In the entire series, Liam Hemsworth's Billy the Kid is the only Expendable who has actually died, Billy's passing served as the main inspiration for The Expendables 2, in which career criminal Jean Villian murders Billy on the team's last mission before he departs. As a result, Ross, Christmas, and the rest of the group set out to find Villian an exact revenge for their fallen comrade. The plot of The Expendables 4 may very well take a similar turn, with Ross's passing serving as the catalyst for what unfolds. Christmas might initially find it difficult to assume his friend's role before rising to the occasion and exacting revenge on his mentor in the manner that viewers are accustomed to seeing Stallone embody. You know, I'm probably the only friend you've got. Well, I got lots of friends. You walk into a room, people jump on the tables. Aside from the dramatic impact Ross's passing would have on the story, the writing team would have a wealth of new storylines to experiment with Stallone leaving the Expendables. Given their willingness to write a Statham-focused spin-off where Stallone would take a backseat, it seems like the Expendables team is already on the right track. However, this could be extended by imagining a scenario in which Christmas is unable to keep the team together after avenging Ross and the Expendables 4. Depending on the setting, later installments might then tell the origin stories of the team members who are still alive or follow a brand new group of Expendables. This idea was already hinted at in The Expendables 3 when Ross assembled the younger team with Ronda Rousey and Glenn Powell to prepare for an initial assault on the headquarters of the villain Stonebacks. Thus, it's entirely feasible that a young Expendables movie or even an Expendables in training spin-off will happen. Fans find it difficult to accept the fact that the 80s action movie Golden Generation is not getting any younger. A reality that The Expendables 4 would do well to acknowledge by killing Stallone's Barney and restoring the franchise. One of the main problems with the Expendables series, especially the sequels, is that the cast swells to the point where many of the prolific action stars have little to do other than show up in a gratuitous cameo and yell a few of their old catchphrases and shoot a few nameless henchmen. And because of this, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. The Expendables 4 appears to be moving away from the series' penchant for excessively large casts with a pared-down Expendable crew. There will no doubt be some jaw-dropping sequences that truly highlight the skills of the Expendables 4's cast, both new and old, with the addition of renowned martial artists like Tony Jaa and Aiko Ways as well as newcomers to the action genre. See you in the next video.